You're watching a classic episode of Bass Pro Shops Outdoor World Television. If ever there was a superstar in fishing, it would be Kevin Van Dam. There it is. Busting into the professional bass tour at the tender age of 23, Kevin has wowed the bass fishing community by winning seven tournaments and consistently placing high in the standings. Van Dam's quest for the holy grail of fishing, the Bass Masters Classic, had eluded him for years until finally in 2001 he won the prestigious title. Kevin pitched and flipped jigs and soft plastics to tight-lipped Louisiana bass to clinch the classic victory. Yes. yes! Even with the bass in a negative mood, Van Dam was able to scrape out a limit each day of the tournament, while the majority of the field failed to fill their live wells. There is. Needless to say, the 2001 Classic is a testament to the effectiveness of pitching and flipping. Not a good solid keeper. Shot just after the 2001 Classic, Kevin reveals some of the tips and even some secrets to how to make this technique pay off. You know, today we're fishing typical uh, pitching and flipping water, real shallow, dirty, um, isolated cover and grass and things like that. But it's a, it's a technique that you can use for a lot of other things. You know, I, I'll pitch and flip sometimes in 30 or 40 foot of water. Uh, it's a great technique to get pinpoint positioning on real irregular deep structure. You know, if you're following a creek channel, all the little turns and things like that, you might miss them with a cast. But if you're watching your electronics and just pitching, you know, 15, 20 foot out of the boat, letting it sink down to the bottom, you're right there on the key spot. So uh, you can use this technique for a lot more than just the traditional shallow cover. Uh, we catch a lot of them flipping real deep grass and, and uh, you know, uh, all types of, of cover, you know, bridge pilings. You can do a lot of different things with this technique. Van Dam always pays close attention for anything that might hold bass. He especially likes to find isolated cover. Cover that sits on a bank that is void of anything else that might hold bass. Oh man, that's a good one right there. One of the things that I like to do is look for real isolated targets like that. And uh, there's a long, shallow bank here along this marsh with one log laying along it. Good fish. We'll let him go. There's a real shallow marsh bank right here, and there's one log laying there. You can see the stump there, and, you know, it's just a perfect scenario. I'm going to pull up, and he kind of got me in that log. I'm going to have to retie, but I'm going to pull up and start uh, pitching to something like that. And when you, you can't tell where the limbs and stuff are, it's going to take a few casts. You need to work through it and feel your way around. And, and what I try to do is get the bait to crawl down uh, every limb. And with a jig like this that's got a good rattle, you know, I'll get it against that limb and just kind of shake it there and get that rattle to work. And that bass right there, it was about my 10th or 15th pitch to that same log. And I, I just got it up against the limb and I shook it and got that rattle to work. And, uh, you know, he just took it right off the limb away from me. There it is. Good fish. He just ate that jig. Kevin's tackle today includes a Quantum Kevin Van Dam Signature Series Jig Rod, Quantum Kevin Van Dam Signature Series 6.2 to 1 Bait Cast Reel, 20 pound Bass Pro Shops XPS Floral Carbon Line, Strike King Flippin' Tubes, Strike King Premier Elite Jigs and Zoom Super Chunk Trailers. For a complete list and details on everything seen in today's Tackle Box, see BassPro.com. You know, when the wind's blowing like this, you can get real tight. You can get a lot tighter to the cover. And, you know, on a wall like this, it has a lot of different, uh, has a lot of different ins and outs to it. You know, that's what you need to get a good pinpoint presentation. You know, the wind's covering your approach. You can afford a little bit more noise. And, uh, you know, with the trolling motor and even with the splash down, but it's just a lot easier to get a perfect presentation and drop that jig right down on them. And I'm going to hit every one of these pilings going down through here. There's one. <laughs> Two of them right in one spot. That's a good fish right there. If I can get a hold of them, that's a nice one. You know, with the wind blowing in there, a lot of times, a lot of people think when you're flipping that you need it real calm. But uh, 
you know, the wind kind of activates the, the bass a little bit. The bait fish will be in there, you know, uh, crawdads are kind of getting knocked out of those walls and stuff like that, and they're going to be more active, and those bass are going to be a lot more aggressive. So go back there and get back up by that wall. Like any technique, pitching and flipping requires the appropriate bait for the conditions you're faced with. Kevin Van Dam's first choice in most instances is to tie on a jig, but not always. I love to use a jig for flipping and pitching, but there's a lot of times when you need to use some type of plastic bait. And there's a lot of different ones made, and all of them can be good for pitching and flipping. My favorites, though, are the more compact type of, of baits. A tube and a jig are, without a doubt, the baits I use the most uh, You know, when I'm out fishing. Other baits, like these creature baits, they can be really good, too. The best flipping baits to me are baits that are compact and a little bit bulky and have some type of action to them, whether it's a cut tails like a tube or a little curl tail or twin tail on the back of them that are going to create some movement and push a little bit of water as the bait is going through the cover. Tubes are a dynamite bait for flipping and pitching because they have a, several qualities that really trigger the bass. First off, the tentacle type tails uh, really have a lot of extra action but the tube itself never really falls the same way twice. It's real erratic. It'll fall to the left, to the right, uh, and that triggers those bass. They can't help uh, but to bite it. It traps some air also, and the Denny Brower flipping tube, like I like here, has a solid quarter-inch head so that it's exceptional for Texas rigging. Now, creature-type baits are another thing that I like to use a lot for, for flipping and pitching. Uh, a bulkier bait like this that's shorter, falls through the cover, it's easier to get in and out of bushes, to fall through grass, lily pads and stuff like that than say a long-tailed worm. And with these extra appendages like this wild thing has extra wings and legs, it creates a big profile in the water and really helps the fish find it. Uh, this tube lizard, which is, is very unique too, it's, it's not very long, uh, it's hollow bodied so it'll trap some air, it still has the tube type tail to it and it has a good solid head for Texas rigging. Uh, the tube craw is along the same lines of a tube. It's very erratic in its fall, yet it has the extra pinchers on there to give it the realism of a, of a crawdad. All these baits uh, are going to fish exceptionally well in tight places, and, and they'll fall through thick cover a lot easier than, say, a lot of the bigger, bulkier plastics. Because they're hollow, they won't ball up on your hook, and my strike-to-land ratio is a lot better with these type of baits. Better fish. Yeah, finally. Boy, there's some trash down there and he got hung in that. A good solid keeper. Oh, that hook had him good. It's important to have a real strong hook for these for these tubes. This one's designed just for a tube, but that makes a big difference. There he is. Kevin's been known in the past to be a whiz at faster forms of fishing like spinner baiting and ripping a jerk bait. Since the 2001 Bassmasters Classic, though, oh, there's a good one right there. Van Dam might be redefining himself as a master with jigs and soft plastics too. The chances are good that Kevin Van Dam will continue to win tournaments with the help of fast moving baits. But there's no doubt there that slower moving lures pitched and flipped will have a role in the increasing success of this bass fishing superstar. <laughs> you can clearly see that pitching and flipping is a dynamite technique. To learn more about this method of producing more bass using these patterns, see Kevin's hot video, Pitching to Heavy Hitters, which is available at Bass Pro Shops. It's one solid hour of learning from the man who won it all on this very technique.